Corrine, we never named our cat. <gasps> we didn't name our cat. What should we name her? Her. Um, how about Lola? Lola? Lola right. the cat. Hello, Lola. Lola. Lola, Lola, <laughs> Lola. Lola. <laughs> All right, so we are going to look at the upper arteries and veins, and we're going to start with the arteries. So this is going to be um, a little bit hard. So we're going to start from the heart, and we are going to look at the aortic arch. So you can see the aorta is kind of still buried in that uh, pericardial sac, but there are two branches on the heart from the cat, the brachiocephalic artery and then the left subclavian artery. So on the human, we had three branches. Cat, there are only two. So we're gonna follow the brachiocephalic first. It is gonna, gonna, it is going to branch three times. The first branch is gonna go off to the right side. This is the right subclavian artery yeah. and if we follow the right subclavian artery <laughs> off towards the arm I'm trying to follow I it. know we're trying Here to follow it. there's it a knot in there yeah. so as we go there and underneath the kind of rib cage that's open yep. here I'm it following will, there you go it will turn into the um, axillary so we go into axillary and then it goes as we follow it all the way out to our brachial as it moves into the arm. All right, second branch off of the brachiocephalic is going to be the right common carotid. Notice that that's going to cut up right along the trachea there all the way up to the head. And then the third branch is the left common carotid artery that will again move up the other side of the trachea to the head. Kind of goes and tucks kind underneath. Of tucks underneath mm -hmm. there, yeah. Okay, and then the other branch off of the aorta is going to be the left subclavian artery. So this has its own branch off of the aorta and going to cut over to go with axillary and then brachial as well. And the other arm, yeah. And the other arm. Okay. Good. Veins. Veins. I think we're good. Um, veins. Let's start at the brachial or at the vena cava. Let's start at vena cava. All right, so remember, blood is gonna be flowing back into the heart through the veins, so we're gonna go a little backwards. Yep. All right, so here's our superior vena cava, and it has two branches that are feeding into it, the right brachiocephalic and the left brachiocephalic trunks. Um, and if you follow the, let's go left side, right? The left brachiocephalic, the first big branch off of it is gonna be the jugular. So the jugular will go up and, or come down, I guess, from the head, draining the blood. And the next little section there is is going to be our subclavian vein. Um, subclavian is also going to have a branch all the way to the back, which will be the sub sub scapular. Sorry, which bone is that? Subscapular. The subscapular, which goes over to the scapula, and then the um, left axillary vein and the left brachial vein, which will be pulling blood back from the arm. We have one little guy up here. Oh, in the there neck. is that little guy. He's. It's very unique to the cat. Um, that is our transverse vein. The transverse vein does not occur on humans. Awesome. Right. I think we got it. We'll do our second one for lower. 